The new Dragon Ball anime, Dragon Ball Daima, has just been revealed with a new teaser trailer, so I watched it frame by frame to find out if this is just a filler series for the 40th anniversary of Dragon Ball, this series is probably older than all of us, or if it's something more, and what I found shocked me. The trailer starts in a realm unlike any we've seen before in Dragon Ball. It's drenched in a red hue and has fire or lava spewing up from below. Many might think back to Dragon Ball Z's version of Hell, but that location is actually anime filler. Evil souls are reincarnated rather than given any afterlife, except for souls like Frieza, who we see in Dragon Ball Super, has a personal hell made for him in the hopes that he'll repent and be reborn one day. So if this isn't hell, where the hell is it? This is very likely the demon realm that we heard about all the way back in the Boo Saga. I'm gonna be saying Dabura for a lot of this video. So just so you know, his name is a pun on Kadabra or Kadabra. So Dabra or Dabra are perfectly fine names. You could do what you want, but I'm not saying Dabura. Dabra was the king of the demon realm before getting controlled by Babidi, so we're seeing a demon realm without its king. Appearance isn't the only reason I think it's the demon realm though. Once we're inside the palace, we see an empty throne and two figures floating above while looking at footage of the Boo Saga. Notably, the Boo Saga is all we see in these shots, which would make sense since it's the last time the king of demons was alive. The two figures are currently unknown, but they are both wearing capes that are reminiscent of Dabra's, furthering the connection to the demon realm. The tall one that looks like a Kaioshin is likely the first Makaioshin that we've seen in the actual series. Makaioshin are the demon counterpart to the Kaioshin, and despite them often appearing in Dragon Ball games, none has ever made an appearance in the main series. The shorter character is a complete guess to me though, but a child of Dabra's doesn't seem too far-fetched, especially when the rotation starts and we see a glimpse of his outfit. Looking at it closely, it bears a slight resemblance to the non-canon sister of Dabra, Toa. Then as the rotation continues, we see more of the presumed Makayo Shin's outfit, which is reminiscent of regular Supreme Kai's. Some people have argued that the role of this character might be similar to that of West Supreme Kai in Dragon Ball AF, but we don't know enough about this series and I don't know enough about Dragon Ball AF to be certain. We then see a ship leaving the presumed demon realm, but we can't be sure why. The ship then comes face to face with the shorter mystery figure from earlier, which makes me wonder if the ship is actually more of a drone or can the mystery character become giant? Perhaps it's this ship or drone that recorded all the events of the Boo Saga and is relaying them to the two mystery characters. Or realistically, it might be that this mystery character is watching someone coming into the demon realm in this ship on a projection of sorts. Then we're back on Earth and seven lights scatter from the lookout, implying a wish had just been made. But then we see the Dragon Ball gathered on some grass, so these are probably separate events unless Dende added a grassy field to the lookout that I'm forgetting about. We then see Shenron summoned on the lookout and he asks for a wish. Weirdly, not three wishes, but forgetting that Shenron grants three wishes now or that the Dragon Balls need a year to recharge is a Dragon Ball specialty. We then see Goku and Vegeta begin to transform, but not into a Super Saiyan form. Instead, they become kids. It seems like a wish was made to make not only them, but the entire group of characters into children again. Vegeta and Goku seem mad, but it's unclear who they're mad at. The editing wants you to think it's Bulma, but there shouldn't be any reason to be mad at her. I will say the setting is extremely reminiscent of Battle of Gods, and you can even see Capsule Corp behind Piccolo. So could this be another Bulma birthday party? If so, did she have the Dragon Balls as a prize? This might be far-fetched, but there might actually be two sets of Dragon Ball like GT, and that's why there's a disconnect between the location of the seven Dragon Balls earlier and Shenron being summoned on the lookout. If Bulma does have the Dragon Balls, they might lay them out on nearby grass to try and reverse the wish, only for Shenron to be unable to. This would also explain the one wish issue I mentioned earlier, but again, this is entirely speculation on my part. I actually doubt this series will be that similar to GT. Notably, this trailer is the first time we see some characters this young, like Mr. Satan, Android 18, Yamcha, Supreme Kai, and Kabito. Oh, don't worry, we'll get back to them. We also see young Ox King and my personal favorite, young Roshi, who's just been bald since the womb, I guess. Oh great, Trunks and Goten are babies again. I'm sure people won't complain about that. But more importantly, Trunks' hair is purple here and not the blue of Dragon Ball Super, perhaps confirming the fan theory that his hair turns blue as he gets older in DBS. Notably, we don't see Gohan, Videl, Pan, or Bra, but it's possible the last two aren't gonna be in the series at all, which I'll touch on more later, but 
Overall, I think making them so young they don't exist would be a terrible and uncomfortable plot point. We then see a shot of some character's shoes. From left to right, it seems like it's Mr. Popo, then Capito, Piccolo, Shin, and Vegeta. Perhaps they're discussing what they should do about this situation. The next shot has Goku floating on what appears to be the lookout again, but this time there's some sort of ship. It's reminiscent of the nameless Namekian spaceship, the way it's covered in moss and even has a Namekian aesthetic to it. As for Goku floating, it's possible he's not used to flying in his younger body yet, and the series will use that to have more literally grounded fights. We then see another shot of the drone or ship as it's flying through some sort of portal or hole, which might be how the demon realm and living realm are connected. After that, there's another shot of the lookout with someone standing on it, but I'm not exactly sure who it is. The next shot after that has Shin enter the presumed Namekian ship we saw earlier, perhaps telling us that he will play a major role in this story. Goku visits Master Karin, presumably for some senzu beans, and Vegeta nervously yells at Goku when they're back on the lookout again, but we don't know why yet. And then my prayers have been answered. Goku's using the Nyoibo again. It's peak. When DBS Broly teased Goku with a Nyoibo, only for him to not use it in the movie at all, I was extremely disappointed. But seeing it in action again might have solidified me loving this series already. Next, we see a spaceship heading towards Earth, and while I originally thought this was the ship from earlier, it's actually far more reminiscent of the pods used by Saiyans and Frieza's men. Though I don't think Frieza will be in the series, so it might just be a flashback of Goku landing on Earth. Next is a shot of Bulma looking inside some sort of machinery, and I'd have to to assume it's the Namekian style ship again. She's likely doing repairs on the ship so Goku, Shin, and whoever else joins can go on the journey to fix all of this. Don't make me tap the sign. We see another scene of Goku training with his Nyoibo before seeing a star turn into a Dragon Ball, which I'm assuming is just symbolism, but there might be more to it. The next scene is really crazy though, as we have what appears to be the Demon King Piccolo, at least to me. Remember earlier we saw a vehicle that looked Namekian in origin? What if that ship we saw was something used by Demon King Piccolo to visit the Demon Realm, perhaps using it to secure his title as a great Demon King, or at least the great Demon King of Earth? The other possibility is the Namekian Eye belongs to Zalama, and we're seeing the creation of a Super Dragon Ball as that star turns into a Dragon Ball. To me, this is a little far-fetched, but it is possible since this series is seeming to emphasize world building and explaining lore. The next scene is of Goku and Supreme Kai sharing a bed, maybe pointing more to the idea that Goku and Shin are going on this journey together. We then see the ship landing, but in a way that reminds me more of the time machine than any actual spaceship we've seen in the series. Then then we see Goku presumably flying, if not falling till he gets caught by the Kintoun, and a very nice dragon or monster design that likely came from Toriyama. The trailer then goes to this burger or sandwich restaurant, but doesn't elaborate on its purpose. However, based on the background, I'd assume it's either another planet or a different part of the demon realm. The next shot is a stunning wide shot of the big demon castle tree headquarters thing from earlier, and it's just gorgeous. I will say, it gives me the same vibes as Beerus's tree, so so maybe it's an intentional parallel. There's a super brief shot of this hole in the ground that's covered by a symbol that stylistically reminds me of the room with the two mystery characters from earlier. There's also a ship at the edge of it, which implies this is how you get to the demon realm from the living realm. What's weird is this ship might be the one that Goku and Shin are in, but earlier in the trailer, the first ship that we saw was a different color, perhaps meaning that there's more than one of these. We then get a shot of a character's eye, who I'm assuming is the Mikayo Shin from earlier. The overall vibe just fits for me. We then go back to the room full of Boo Saga footage from earlier and get a shot of Bobbity with the mystery character clenching his fist over top of him, really emphasizing a hatred for him, possibly because of what he did to Dabra. Next we see the red and blue ship from earlier materialize in some weird realm with a fish ship floating next to it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what the hell is going on here. The next shot further shows that there are at least two of these ships, as this one is more rustic and has yellow lights, leading me to believe that this ship is the one from the lookout. This shot is also a little goofy. If it's the demon realm or another planet, it's pretty funny that giant onions are constantly stinking up the place. Then we're back in the Boo Saga room, but this time they're not floating, and the presumed Mikayo Shin is standing next to whoever is likely the new king of the demon realm sitting in the throne we briefly saw earlier. We then cut to Goku and Vegeta sparring, which is likely 
exactly why both were injured before turning into children. Hey, look, Vegeta's bleeding. The edgy fans got what they wanted, right? This fight is extremely well animated and it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's actually important overall. The next shot is Goku fighting against some sort of robot, which I presume is on another planet, and that ends the trailer. Now for an interesting question, when does this series even take place? Before Super, after Super, after the end of Z? I actually don't think any of those are correct, but this is entirely my speculation. I can still see this being at some point in Super. But for my theory, everything about this trailer has focused on the Boo Saga. And notably, despite there being a party, we don't see Whis and Beerus there eating all the food. Outside of the trailer, Ian Sinclair, the English voice of Whis, asked if Whis would be in the series, and while he wasn't given a definitive no, it was heavily implied. So you may be wondering, if this is after the Boo Saga, but before Battle of Gods, how are Shin and Kibito split? Well, I think the answer is obvious. The younger version of Kibito Kai isn't a young Kibito Kai. It's a young Kibito and Supreme Kai before they merge. Look at how they look at each other confused. That might not just be because they're young, meaning that once the wish is undone later in the series, they'll go back to being one person again until Dragon Ball Super happens. So I think the series might take place before Battle of Gods, and the event we see everyone at is either an earlier Bulma birthday party or maybe Gohan and Videl's wedding, explaining why those two aren't in the trailer. Though, Goku isn't in his wedding outfit, so that might be a bit far-fetched. The time placement still makes the most sense to me right now, though, especially since this is described as a story that's never been told, which implies it happened before more recent stories. Remember, there are four years between the Boo Saga and Battle of Gods, so there's plenty of time to work with here. As for the plot, my prediction is pretty simple. Toriyama describes Goku and the others being turned small as a conspiracy. The Mikayo Shin and the other demon we saw watched the Boo Saga play out. They watched Babidi control their king, watched Dabura die to Boo, and watched as that same Boo, at least by appearance, is befriended by the Z Fighters, making them complicit in his crimes. Of course, Dabura was the strongest being in the demon realm, and that's before having his power boosted by Babidi, so fighting people stronger than him head on would be a mistake, leading to a wish being made that'll hopefully weaken the Z Fighters enough to enact some form of revenge. However, just to be safe, and assuming there's only one set of Dragon Balls in the series, they take the Dragon Balls from Earth and scatter scatter them across the demon realm, leading to Goku, Shin, and whoever else having to hunt them down and figure out who's behind all of this. Now listen, I know this show isn't what everybody wanted or expected, but the lore and world building seem incredible so far, and the production is amazing. If this level of love goes into the future of Dragon Ball, I'd say we're in pretty good hands. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and thank you so very much for watching.